Hello everyone, welcome back to Melanie's Journals. Now today we are setting up the second journal of this year. So my mid-year journal, my other journal is full and I will give you a flip through in a later video. But this journal is again from Notebook Therapy. Uh, this is their uh, Nara journal. Um, Nara is a place in Japan where all these lovely deer live. When I lived in Japan, I actually went there. It's an absolutely beautiful and magical place. And so when I saw this journal, it was definitely one of my favorites that I wanted to use. And I thought that the um, autumn that we're going to go into uh, would be perfect for this journal. So it's a brown velvet cover. Um, the metallic, and I'm, I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but it's a rose gold color. It has some beautiful leaves on the side. And then of course, notebook therapy on the back. Now they always come with a little quote and a little flap on the back, which holds the, let's see, the paper clip, which is again rose gold and of a lovely deer. So that's the notebook. I have already started with some of the setup. So I made my title page and I um, drew in and painted this map. You can see that on my Instagram where I posted a bit of a reel uh, showing that part. I'd actually, actually drawn a map of the Erebor um, in my first journal, so I thought this would be nice for the second one. Then this is going to be where my cover is going to be, which I'm going to show you in this video. And then I penned in the calendar. And of course, some of the trackers I'm going to use. I condensed it a little bit um, from last time. But I'll show you what I'm gonna paint or maybe I'm just gonna use washi tape, I'm not really sure yet. Um, but the rest is just gonna be very, very simple so I can use all the space. I think that's the last page until, yeah, until the July cover. So, we're going to go on to the cover page. And here is the cover page I'm going to use this time. Uh, last time I did do a lot of painting. Uh, I made a working hobbit door, um, but I didn't want to do that this time just to save myself some, some time. Um, and I was really debating what I wanted to make. Um, like I could do other hobbit houses, of course, but actually I just wanted to do a bit of a different part that I hadn't shown in my other journal. Um, and so I came to this landscape view of Hobbiton, but this time with the um, the pub and the green dragon and the, the bridge here. So I found this lovely image on Instagram um, and uh, yeah, I sketched it in, I inked it in. And so now we're gonna start painting it. Um, so it's just gonna be a night, um, probably an evening sky sunset with some of the hills and then reflection in the water. Um, so yeah, I hope you will enjoy seeing that process. So as always, I'm going to start with a base layer of color and then work in the details. So I'm going to start with the sky. And it's a beautiful, I'm not sure whether it's a sunrise or a sunset, uh, but there's a lot of pink in the sky, some purples. Usually I'm, I don't consider myself very good at those skies, uh, but I decided to try to try something different than just the regular, regular blue. the sky I might in some I might add in some details later but I think I'm quite happy about it right now 
Uh, I'm now going to do the water, uh, which is going to be a darker tone than the sky, but I think doing them both at the same time will, will help with the, with the rest of the painting. So again, I'm going to start with some of the, the color blocking. And in my reference picture, the color here is more pink. And then fade into darker, darker blue. I'll probably have to add a bit more layers here just to get the, the depth that I need. Um, and to be honest, my, my paintings generally tend to be a bit lighter. So I'm really trying my best to really get in with it with dark, dark colors because I feel it does add the drama that you sometimes need. I'm not too afraid of painting over some of the reflections in the water because those are going to be even darker to really stand out so and that's gouache so that's always great I do tend to use my gouache a bit of, as a watercolor um, I like using it that way uh, but I can add you know thicker paint and it will cover everything quite well maybe add a bit more detail but for now I'm very happy how the color flow and how it reflects the sky as well so happy how this turned out as you can see the I completely forgot to actually tape it down um, so it is getting quite wrinkly but that will be okay once we put it into our notebook it's um, going to press everything together and make it all nice and smooth so I'm not too worried about that and sometimes what I will do once I finish the piece um, I'll actually just let it dry and then put it under some heavy, very heavy books just to even out the, the first of the of the waving before I actually stick it in. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, it might just make painting sometimes a little bit more difficult, but that's okay. So if you can, uh, don't forget to tape it down. For me, it's a bit too late now to, to really have an, have an impact, but it's okay. And so the rest of the painting is just going to be basically a lot of green uh, and of course some of the uh, some of the houses and structures so what i usually do is i start color blocking so uh, the different types of green uh, mainly the hills here above and below here are about the same color um, so i will color block that the trees here as well also relatively the same color in the picture um, so i'm just going to go in with every single color um, and just finish all of them color blocking and then adding in the, the details. But I find that helps me to um, create the depth that I need, but also not to start mixing or making a mistake or you know, adding a color where it shouldn't be. Um, it's not foolproof, but I do find that that helps me a lot. So I will really be talking, I think, throughout that part of the video. So I hope you will just enjoy it, enjoy the music I'm going to play, uh, and then I will, uh, I will see you uh, when it's done.
so the main color blocking is done as you can see I'm now gonna go in with a darker color with some shadowing for the water uh, also for the trees in the background to really make them look further away and I'm gonna add some more shadows into the hills so you have to have some more depth there um, maybe a few more details for all the shrubs here, but I'm pretty happy how they are now. And I also like the very watercolor texture that the painting has, so I think I'm gonna try and, and keep that as well. So yeah, we're gonna go on to the next part and then I will show you the final result. Here we have the finished piece. of it. I just quickly stuck it onto my uh, my bullet journal with these clips, but yeah, I'm very happy how it turned out. And some of the shimmering ones. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it in half and then stick it into a notebook and then add in a, um, a title page. Okay, and we, here we have the finished cover page so with some just a simple 2022 on there yeah very happy how this turned out uh, i try to keep it uh, simpler uh, for me uh, for my style um, but yeah i'm really really happy with it so now we're going to go on to the next page which is going to be the calendar page i'm going to ink this all in uh, and then i'm probably going to sketch out lightly some of the hobbit holes um, but yeah you'll see me doing that So here is the calendar page. Now my original plan, uh, what I'd also done in my first um, journal of this year, was to draw some of the hobbit holes. Um, but I still have a lot to draw and I actually kind of want to make it a little bit easier, but also just to show you that you don't have to draw everything to get a similar type of feel. I'm actually using uh, some washi tape from the washi tape shop. I'll show you here. 
They are from one series. I'll quickly just look up the name for you. As you can see, they're very nature themed, very shiny, but I also feel they kind of still have inhibit the hobbit feel. So I just cut them to size. They also slightly correspond with some of the locations that we're going to visit. And this series is called the Sunrays Collection from the Washi Tape Shop. Uh, I don't really use them that often, uh, but I really feel that they really work with this setting. So I'm going to stick them in and then show you the final result. And so here we have the final page. There we go. So it's very satisfying to see. I will say though, this washi tape it just just slightly rub above of your hands. I think you can see some of the shimmerings. But overall, it's great. Really love it. Really love how it turned out. I think the color scheme also quite matches the cover page. So yes, very happy with, about, with this. Now we're going to go on to the trackers. Like I said, this is going to be a simple, I'm just going to do a quick title with my brush pen. Um, and then probably do a little bit of a drawing beneath here. And then the same, this page. In here. And finally, for the period tracker, I will make a, um, a bit of a spreadsheet for my period tracker as well as for my social media tracker. So I'm gonna put that in probably off screen because it's a bit fiddly, uh, but basically it's just making boxes, that's all it is. So yeah, I'm going to uh, fill this in, take you along some of the coloring process, and then we're gonna go on to the final part, which, was, which will be the mind map page. Okay, so here we have the first two sketches of Hobbiton. These are from images that I found on a Tumblr and I really liked. So you'll see me color those in and the others. I've also drawn in and inked in. So yeah, I'll show you a few sh uh, snapshots of me coloring them.
first completed tracker. So you can see a lovely cherry blossom view of Hobbiton and the famous sign again with some of the cherry blossoms. Very happy how this turned out. We're going to go on to the next one. So the next part is my story ideas page. As you can see, I've left two pages because I do love um, plotting down some notes when I have an idea for a story. Um, and I really filled up the last one. So, um, so that's why I'm leaving two pages here. Uh, again, just a cute little hobbit door. Uh, I'm gonna use a similar style as I did for these two. Um, just nice and simple, not too much um, uh, detailing in that sense and you'll see uh, me do some of that process. story ideas page but that was, this was a really cute hobbit door I'm very happy how it turned out then go on the next page these are two hobbit houses at the bottom same technique so I'll probably just show you the final result. And here the paintings are done. Very happy how they turned out. They were also quite quick. I think all together it took about half an hour, which is about 15 minutes per drawing. So I think that was really great. I really like how they look. Um, so yeah, satisfied. And we're gonna go on to the last part. which is going to be the period and social media tracker and this signpost is in Hobbiton and it's right by the uh, Green Dragon and so for the signpost um, 
Again, I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible. So I'm just gonna have a nice blue sky. Um, the dragon is made of metal, so I'm gonna gonna give it that rusty color. And then of course the thatch roof that you can actually see in the cover page, which I'm quickly going to show you. Which, if I'm correct, would be right around here. Here with the chimney there. So I thought that was really cool. But let's paint this and then we're gonna be done. So like I said, a very simple color palette, but as always very effective. So very happy this last paint turned out. And that was the last part. I you know I actually said I would do a mind map page, but I actually ran out of room. I already started uh, planning out my um, my July page, so that's all inked in, so I can't actually change that. Um, it was going to be a mind map page uh, with um, both Mary and Pippin, so I'm a bit sad about it, but I want to keep them um, maybe once I hit a certain amount of followers, um, whether on my Instagram or my YouTube page, and then I will show you that, and it'll be more of a, a celebratory um, piece. Um, but yeah, so that one will come sometime in the future. For now, I'm going to give you a final flip through of this setup. And here's the final flip through. We're going to start here with the name page and the map of Middle Earth. And especially the regions that we're going to visit in this bullet journal. Then the cover page, a lovely view of Hobbiton, particularly the Green Dragon. Here we have the calendar page for the whole year. Here I use some washi tape stickers from the washi tape shop to kind of give that vibe and to also save some time drawing and painting. And here is my book and creativity tracker. There's some nice hobbit houses and the Hobbiton sign. Here we have my story ideas page with the Big image of one of the hobbit doors. My finance and savings tracker. Again. And then finally, we have my period and social media page tracker with the green dragon signage post. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. And then you will see my July setup very, very soon. Thank you. Bye. -bye.